The Baba Diponegoro is a historical manuscript that tells the story of Prince Diponegoro's struggle in the Java War during the 19th century. This manuscript was recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site in 2013 due to its historical and cultural significance to Indonesia and the world. The Diponegoro War, also known as the Java War, occurred during the Dutch colonial period in Indonesia. Prince Diponegoro, a Javanese nobleman, led the Javanese people's struggle against the Dutch who sought to control the region. The war lasted for five years, from 1825 to 1830. The Babad di Pornogoro was created in the 1830s, shortly after the war ended, by an unknown author. This manuscript tells the story of Prince de Pornogoro's struggle and sacrifice against the Dutch colonizers. Additionally, it depicts the social, political, and economic conditions of the time. The Baba di Ponegro has significant historical and cultural value to Indonesia and the world. This manuscript is a silent witness to the Javanese people's struggle against Dutch colonialism. Furthermore, this manuscript is also a literary work that contains very high cultural and moral values. As a world heritage recognized by UNESCO, the Baba di UNESCO, the Baba di Ponegoro, must be preserved and conserved to be passed on to future generations. This manuscript can also inspire people worldwide to fight for their rights and to preserve their culture and identity. To preserve and conserve the Bada de Ponegoro, the Indonesian government has taken various efforts, such as restoring and digitizing the manuscript. Additionally, the government has organized various activities to introduce the Baba de Ponegoro to the Indonesian and global communities, such as exhibitions, seminars, and discussions. Therefore, the Baba di Ponegro is a highly valuable world heritage for Indonesia and the world. This manuscript not only serves as evidence of the Javanese people's struggle against Dutch colonialism, but also contains cultural and moral values that are crucial to global society. The Baba di Ponegro was written by Prince de Ponegro himself during his imprisonment in Manado, North Sulawesi, from 1852 to 1853. It was written in Javanese language and using Arabic script. The book consists of four main parts with 1151 pages. The manuscript was later transcribed into Javanese script. The Baba di Apani script, the Baba di Ponegro, was also translated into Dutch. World Heritage Memory In 2012, Baba di Ponegro was submitted to UNESCO as a memory of the world. The submission was made jointly by the National Library of Indonesia and an institution in the Netherlands. The joint submission was made because copies of the Baba de Fonagora manuscript written in Arabic script were stored in the National Library of Indonesia, while those written in Javanese script were stored in the Netherlands. Baba de Ponagoro was declared a World Heritage Memory in 2013. Since 1992, UNESCO has been registering special and often endangered documents on the International Memory of the World list. In this way, governments, private institutions, and others can work together internationally to preserve original documents for future generations. Leiden University Library holds three documents that are included in the Memory of the World list, namely the Leitze Panji Manuscripts, the Chronicle of Prince di Ponegoro, and the Lagaligo Epic. The Chronicle of Prince di Ponegoro, Baba di Ponegoro, 1785-1855, a Javanese prince who played an important role as a leader of the resistance in the Java War conducted by the Dutch in the Dutch East Indies from 1825 to 1830, was written during his exile in North Sulawesi. This document, which is part of the Kittle Collection, forms the basis of the national narrative in Indonesia and is one of the important literary works of Indonesia. Baba Diafanagiro is probably the first autobiography in Javanese literary history. The official Dutch version, which is kept in the Ubel Special Collection, was translated in 1857 at the request of the Royal Batavian Society of Arts and Sciences because they realized that the text was of importance in understanding the Javanese subject. This is a large manuscript written by Dipo Negro, a Javanese prince who lived from 1785 to 1855, a long life. He is an important figure in Indonesian history. He is a prince, a devout Muslim, a mystic. He is responsible for restoring moral peace in Java. Why restore it? One reason is the Dutch. He fought the Dutch in the Java War from 1825 to 1830. He was persuaded to engage in peace talks and was abducted by the Dutch. He was taken away from Java and sent to Sulawesi where he was kept in detention for a long time. 
In Sulawesi, he wrote a large book, a kind of autobiography, around 1831. The first part is about the history of Java until his birth. The rest discusses his own life, battles against the Dutch, but also his reflections on religion, especially Javanese Islam. Indonesian society highly appreciates his entire life as a devout Muslim, but also his fight against the colonizers and his writing talent. He is the first national hero of Indonesia after World War II and the independence of Indonesia. Indonesia submitted the manuscript to the UNESCO Intangible Heritage List. You should know that both versions of the manuscript were proposed simultaneously. One of them is the Javanese transcription, which is kept in Makassar, Sulawesi. The other version is the Dutch translation. The UNESCO nomination is the result of cooperation between the National Library of Indonesia and Kittelm. We believe that this is the first autobiography ever written by an Indonesian in the Indonesian language. At the time of its publication, the colonial authorities already understood its importance. The manuscript was immediately transcribed and translated in the early 19th century because everyone recognized its historical value. Eventually, the Dutch translation became part of the Kittelf collection, which is now managed by Leiden University Library. Just to show how important the manuscript Thank you for watching this video, and hopefully the information presented has been beneficial for you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more historical videos and other interesting content. See you in the next video.